Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Bacon Root Toolkit onto your Windows PC. Now you can see here that I'm obviously using a Mac, but I have Windows 8.1 running in a virtual box. So it'll be pretty much the same exact experience that you're going to get on a Windows PC. Now what this toolkit does is it lets you root, unlock your bootloader, flash custom recoveries, you'll completely restore your phone back to stock. All just pressing a couple clicks and you're done. So this is like pretty much going to replace all the ADB and fast boot commands that you'll usually have to run in order to do the same exact things. So once you have the toolkit downloaded and installed on your computer, you go ahead and open it up. And you can see when it first starts here that it opens up an ADB session and that's just because it uses ADB still to, in order to do everything. You're just not having to input the commands. So another thing you're going to want to do on your one is to actually enable USB debugging from your developer options. And once you do that, you'll be pretty much all set to go. All right, so every time you open up the Bacon Root Toolkit, you're gonna have to make sure all your files are up to date. And that just makes sure that whenever you flash TWRP or Super SU, that you're gonna be getting the newest version possible for your device. And after it downloads all that, you're gonna be brought to the main screen of the toolkit. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that it could find your device. So the easy way to do that is to click on Auto Detect Device and Build. And then it'll pretty much just read your device and find out which version it is, either the 16 gigabyte or the 64 gigabyte, and what kind of ROM it's running. If it doesn't pick it up automatically, all you have to do is click on the device from the drop down menu. Same thing goes for your uh, ROM build. Since I am using a custom ROM, I just select alternative custom ROM and then I'll be all set. If not, you can just select if you're running an official version of Cyanogen Mod 11S. All right, now most of the options from the um, toolkit are pretty self-explanatory. You have your backup and restore options, but you're going to be used um, before unlocking your bootloader because unlocking it does wipe your device of all of the data that's on it. So you're going to want to back it up before you do it and then restore it afterwards once you have everything done. So pretty much what you're going to first going to want to do when you first install it is install your drivers. And that's going to be if you've never installed ADB or any, um, you haven't even plugged in your one to your computer. After that, you're going to want to back up your device, then you're going to unlock the bootloader and that'll pretty much allow you to install the custom recovery. And after you unlock it, you're going to want to root it. And I suggest enabling the option to install a custom recovery as well. After you do that, you're going to want to restore your device and that's just going to put all your data right back onto it. All right, and if you ever need to return your uh, phone back to stock, you can just go ahead and click on flash stock plus unroot. And that's just if you ever need to return it back to OnePlus to, um, for any kind of warranty claim or if it's um, your phone's soft brick or anything, you're going to want to also select the status of your one before doing that because it's going to be a different process if your phone is soft brick or in a boot loop or if it's just running normally. OEM lock is to relock your bootloader and that's just again if you're going to want to be going right back to stock and I'll have to worry about flashing a custom OTA zip instead of flashing the original one as well. Under advanced utilities, you're going to get a bunch of more options. And now these are pretty much um, should only be used if you actually know what each option does. The one that I would pick to uh, be the one that should, people will probably use, or the ones that I use mostly, are to push and pull files from ADB. And that's, I only use that when um, I have my phone in recovery mode and I just need to get a, phone, a file on there or off of there really quick before I actually flash a ROM or if I just want to actually capture the screen, if I don't want to have my phone running the screen recorder itself, if I want to do it from my computer instead. All right guys, gonna do it for Bacon Root Toolkit. Be sure to check out the full guide link in the description below to download it. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.